Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about your mind being trapped in a perpetual state of delusional thoughts. And your life is in a constant state of confusion and why that is. Well, first off, when you're in a confused state, it's a state of disorder, perplexity, dysfunction. And so there's a lot that goes into being confused. It's not just that your life is confusing. Is that your environment is com is disorganized, discombobulated, messy? It's all it all starts in the mind, guys. It's all in your brain, not not in your brain. It's all in your mind. Your subconscious, your subconscious mind controls ninety to 95% of your behavior. So if your life is in a state of confusion, perplexity, it's disorganized, it's because subconsciously you're lost. You don't know which direction to go in. And when you are lost and you don't know which direction to turn, you don't know which way to turn. You are you are confused about what's important in your life. You're confused about how to categorize the things that are in your life. How do how, how what, what what does this belong? I don't even know where this goes. What you you've gone into a a, a, a grocery store, or a department store, Home Depot, Lowe's. Guys, they, they have ten. They have tens of thousands of items in those stores. Every nut, screw, bolt, hammer, nail, everything inside of a Home Depot. It may be fifty thousand items inside of a Home Depot. Everything has a place. Same with Walmart. Same with Fry's. Same with Wegmans. Same with Target, CVS, Walgreens. Everything has a place. So when your life is disorganized, you don't know where to place the different, the different, uh, um, um, the specific. How can I say it? You don't know how to put things in their place, people, situations, even items. Things that you buy, whatnots. You don't know where they belong. And if you don't know where they belong in your home, in your life, then they don't belong. So if you go into Home Depot and they see something out of place, they, they the first thing that they ask is, where does this go? Where does this belong? Where does it go? You know why? Because it's out of place. And if it doesn't have a home, they put it in lost and found. Or they put it over here to be, you know, in, 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 a, in a section where they'll have to look it up later to find out where it belongs.
So where do you belong in what where, where do your the items that are in your life, where do they belong? The people, the ideas, the thoughts, the dreams, the visions. The items in your home. If they don't have a place, then they do, they don't belong there. The socks, the t-shirts, the shoes, the jackets, the umbrellas, the slippers, the robes, the soap, the, everything has a home. And if it does not have the home, it does not belong there. It can't just be hanging out in some random spot in your life, in your home. So if a store can manage tens of thousands of items with thousands of customers touching items and moving items, if a store can put those things back in place and you are the only person in your life, you and maybe one other person or two people in your life and you can't put things back in place, then you're delusional. See, it goes, it goes from confusion to delusion at that point. Because you think that you have things under control. But you don't. Your life is in a constant state of confusion. So you're delusional if you think this, this, is, this is normal. That things are under control, that things are organized. Just because you know what something is in your home, in your life, in your mind, doesn't believe that, that doesn't mean that it belongs there. See? So the reason why things are organ organized in a store is so is so any random person can come in off the street. And go directly to that area, to that item. See? So that's how your home should be. That's how your life should be. Your life should be organized in a way where anybody can come into your life and, and, and see what you're about. Like I've gone to people's homes. I've gone into environments. And I can tell that this person, this environment, this store, these people, that they are highly organized and they care about their their lifestyle. So people tend to respect something that they see that's in order and people tend to continue disorder if they see disorder if somebody sees disorder they're gonna just pile it on. It's called it's it's, it's one of the um laws of thermodynamics. It's called entropy. Things will only get worse, it will not get better. If effort is not applied. Productive positive effort must be applied to maintain order. So if you're not applying productive effort in your life, it's only going to get worse psychologically, mentally, physically, health-wise. It's only going to get worse. So guys, you have to make an effort in your life to, to be organized. So people can respect you when they come into your environment. If somebody comes into your environment and they see that you're health conscious and they come into your environment smoking and eating garbage, they don't respect you. 
If somebody come into your environment and they say that you're clean and organized and they come in leaving dirty dishes and, 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 and clothes and bowls and plates and not clean about them, they don't respect you or your environment. If somebody comes into your environment and they and they immediately starts ranting some kind of diatribe, some dogma, whatever is in their mind to you, they have hijacked your peace and they don't respect you. See? So you have to raise your frequency high enough to have enough authority in your presentation to let this person know that I don't want to be entertained with this level of aggression, hostility, and vitriol. But see, too many people allow other people to hijack their consciousness and fill them with foolishness and nonsense. That's confusion. That's delusion. So you rarely does it uh, go the other way. Rarely does it go the other way. People assume that you want to be on the same. People assume that you don't mind being on the same level that they're on. And you have to quickly let them know that, no, I don't want to discuss this type of garbage. Because they will come in and discombobulate your organized mind. They will come in and confuse your orderly mindset. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys, I turned some air on. And, and that's what people do. People, a lot of people are delusional. A lot of people are delusional in the way that they think. See? Because they, because most of the people that they associate with are also delusional and confused. So when the one person comes into the environment, they're going to automatically, automatically assume that you're also delusional and confused. You have given them no indication that you are delusional or confused. You dress nice, you look nice, you haven't spoken to them. But they assume since you're in that environment that you're like them. Think about it. If you go to a nightclub, if you go to a singles bar, if you go to an area that identifies with a certain category of demographic, people are going to assume that you want to be in that category of demographic. That's why when women dress provocatively, but they're not available, they are confused. They're delusional. If you're not available, if you don't want anybody or fewer people of class to talk to you, dress conservatively. And when I say provocatively, I'm just talking about like, like, you know, kind of revealing, kind of like to attract the opposite sex type, type dressing. See, that's why I say most people are delusional or confused. Because the way they present themselves to the world, they confuse the world. They're like, damn, I thought that you was this kind of person. But you're, you, you don't, you don't even, I mean, wow. I didn't expect that. Have you ever met somebody that was dressed nice or looked nice or whatever? You just looked at them. And of course, you're going to judge the book by its cover. 
But then when you start talking to them, you realize like that, like damn, you you ignorant. You you look nothing like you sound. And then the opposite happened. You see somebody who looked like 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 they them homeless or, or uneducated or you know or or you know mentally challenged and then you look at them and then you judge them based on that and you say, okay, this person is like, you know, low intelligence. And then you talk to them, you start talking to them and realize that they, they talk like a professor. They've read books, they have they've, they've had a family, they used to be a lawyer, they used to be, you know, a doc, whatever, you know, and they but you're looking at them like, okay. See that's why that's why I say when people confuse you in a society that's confusing. You know, that's why you should never judge a person by how they present themselves. Because you really don't know what's inside of them. You're judging by the package that you see. You can do food like that. But you can't do people like that. Okay, guys. So that's in this video, guys. The core message of this video was to organize your life where people can kind of see or, in, or, 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 they, or they can have some type of anticipation on what they're about to get into. And you need to organize your life in a way where you're not delusional into thinking that your life is organized. So come outside your bubble. Have friends in the real world, not just on social media. Look at their lifestyle and mimic yourself behind people that you respect. Mm -hmm. You don't want to copy their personality per se. You want to call for, you want to copy their effort, that the positive aspects of who they are. Because you don't know who they are when the, when the camera goes off in their private life. But whatever you like about them, copy the positive things of their life. Get your life in order. Come out of the state of emergency. Create order in your life. Because that's what it's all about, guys. Order. Order makes simplicity easier to obtain. Disorder makes simplicity very difficult to obtain. Less is more, guys. Until next time, guys. Keep your mind clean. Keep your body clean. Keep your car clean. Keep your home clean. Keep your diet clean, guys. Download and deploy your antimicrobial software. Debug and unplug from the matrix. Drink plenty of spring water to flush out the toxins, the chemicals, and the poisons that's in the food supply. Because you are being poisoned, you've been micro poisoned every day. And since you're operating in your unconscious state, you're also poisoning your children and your pets. Until next time, guys, I'm Contraband777, and I'm signing off. Peace.